During Project 3, you will experience a real-world website performance evaluation tool called PageSpeed Insights by Google. The project will involve the evaluation of both mobile and desktop performance for two chosen websites. These can be anything you use regularly, such as education, commercial, or entertainment websites. The objective of this project is to demonstrate your understanding of web performance metrics, the impact of performance factors on the user experience, and to develop critical thinking skills in identifying and solving website performance issues in real life. Before you attempt the project, please be sure that you fully read and reviewed the course material under Unit 5. Under the Unit 5 Learning Resources, you will find the Unit 5 Lesson, which gives an overview of the fundamentals of web performance optimization, as well as a description of some of the web page metrics that you will come across during the project. In addition to this, please also review the assigned reading for the first five chapters of Modern Web Optimization. This book provides more details on web performance optimization, including fundamentals, optimization dimensions, web performance optimization at various lifestyle stages, and other information on the metrics that you will be using throughout this project. In addition, finally, please also review the About Page Speed Insights documentation from Google, as this will help you during your analysis. To get started, visit PageSpeed Insights website and enter the URL of the website that you wish to evaluate. In class, I've provided a template which you can complete as you review the various websites. For the purpose of an example, I'm going to enter Microsoft.com and run the analysis. Please note that the analysis time can vary and can take up to a couple of minutes for it to fully complete. After the analysis is completed, you will find the results broken down into different sections, including real user experience metrics at the top, performance metrics, and other relevant scores further down. Please note that not all websites will provide real user experience metrics depending on the popularity of the website. You will then enter the different values in the template provided and choose between mobile and desktop. For the project, you will be expected to include both sets of results. Please be sure to enter the performance metrics and the real user metrics in the correct sections of the template. You'll find the other scores for accessibility, best practices, and SEO further down in the report. And then finally, please be sure to also enter the overall performance score, which is under the performance issues at the top. You'll repeat the same for the mobile version of the website. And then for your second website, you will also enter the assigned metric values. Again, please note that you will not always receive real user experience. For example, if I enter my own website here, you will notice that there are no real user data available. When reviewing the website requirements, please note it's broken down into three main parts. Data collection is the first section, which we just demonstrated with the PageSpeed Insights tool. Part two, you will develop an analysis of the websites that you have reviewed and identify the website with the lowest performance score. Your analysis will include reviewing the metrics that had the largest impact towards this lower score, and you will provide actionable recommendations for improvement. Part three is bringing all of this together in a final report, including your completed table, your analysis of the lowest performing website, and your recommendations. As always, if you have any questions as you work through this project, please be sure to post in the class, and I will be around to help. Hopefully you will find this assignment helpful in improving your overall understanding of the importance of website performance optimization.